A few weeks ago, I was watching a YouTube video with two very popular Thai vloggers talking about a guy named Mark Weens. Now, Mark Weens, you know, according to these two guys, was like the absolute best known YouTube vlogger in Southeast Asia. Mark Weens does uh, travel videos and he focuses on food. He goes around the region, around the world, actually tasting food and speaking very highly about just about everything he eats. Now here is an artistic representation of Mark Ween. Yeah, that pretty much captures him. And these two guys, these two other YouTubers who are pretty popular themselves, were talking about Mark as if he were, you know, the be all and the end all of YouTube vlogging in Thailand. And, you know, the lad has done very well. He has uh, lots and lots of subscribers. He's, he's doing good. But, you know, I had never heard of him, frankly, until I heard about him here. So today, my plan is to meet my buddy Bill here at his restaurant. He has a damn restaurant, old Marky boy. And what's funny about that is it's right near where I live. I've passed this thing hundreds of times and I've never noticed it. So yeah, the plan, is, well, the plan was to meet my buddy Bill here to go off on an adventure, and he's closed, the song plan. Oh well, another time, Mark. My buddy Bill came down from Chiang Mai to visit Bangkok, so I figured I'd take him on some urban exploration. Yeah, that's urban, isn't it? Well, it kind of is. It's right in the shadow of this gigantic condominium complex but it is the last condominium complex as you come south of Bangkok on the BTS line if you exit the Chang Arawan station and take a little bit of a walk suddenly you find yourself back in old Thailand if you look at this on a map or on Google Maps it's just one great big green space from above, it looks like it's empty and unoccupied, but it's not. There's a whole community of people back here, and it's just a wonderful place. You know, mere steps from a transit line of one of the biggest cities in the world. And we are still within the city limits of Bangkok. It's like a world within a world. What a great place. Let's, uh, let's explore. It's hard to believe that we're walking within the city limits of Bangkok here. Now this, this roadway or this walkway has been installed in more recent years. Um, there is an issue here that I'm a little bit worried about and that's these guys. Uh, we've already encountered a couple of uh, aggressive dogs. Oh, he just jumped off. Uh, so I'm carrying this thing, a little PVC pipe as a dog dissuader. But yeah, we're in, the, we're in the sticks here. We're in the swamps of Thailand along the Chao Phrai River. This is actually on the delta of the Chao Phrai River. And this is a little bit of a fishing community. Uh, the most modern am amenity seems to be this concrete walkway. Okay. That's, the dog seems to be just as wary of me as I am of him, and that's a good thing. We're sharing this walkway with two-wheeled vehicles. So what they got? Yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. Very good. So I know video is a visual medium and I should be showing rather than telling, but I missed it and I wanted to tell you the story. We walked by a, a little enclave of a couple of huts where people were living and there was a, a baby playing in, in a makeshift playpen and a couple of adults sitting outside. And Bill noticed this uh, older woman come out from, uh, from one of the shacks and she was topless. She didn't have anything on above the waist. And it's like, it was a totally normal thing, but it's like, it, it, you know, whatever this neighborhood is, it comes from a time <laughs> that doesn't really exist anymore, especially in a big city like Bangkok. That still blows me away. On Google Maps, the only identifying uh, features I could find of this property, of this, this land, is Mbu 2, M -O -O 2 um, and that's a, a designation for a subdivision in Thailand is Mu. It's also the word for pork. Thai, you know, Thai is a confusing language. 
So the center of town for any rural community in Thailand are the temples, or wat, as they are called here in Thailand. And Mu Tu is apparently no exception. I'm walking along a concrete pathway through the delta, a river delta, in what seems like a throwback to days gone past in Thailand, this jungle community, if you will. But yet they have their, their Wat, their town center. So, yep. Buddhism does indeed inform the Thai culture. Yep, right in the shadow of a modern condo, a couple of steps beyond, and you go back in time. So it is April 15th. That would be tax day if you're American. Although because of the holiday weekend, you have till the 18th this year. But Bill and I, were, we had originally planned coming here at one o'clock. It's now about 9.30 a.m. We changed the time because of the heat. It, it is freaking hot. And uh, we're beginning to melt now. At one o'clock, we'd have been somewhere near, you know, parboiled at this point. But here we are, ancient Thailand in the 21st century. It is Songkran, which the correlative to that in the West would be Easter, which it's also Easter weekend. They happen to coincide this year. And so there are festivities or, or rituals going on here at the lot. That's a cab. Seems this ritual involves a multicolored shirt. They are here to honor their dead ancestors for Sokram. Top and top. <laughs> I truly wish I knew the stories, myths, and legends behind all the imagery that exists in these temples. Here we have a dragon headed snake. These are Buddhist images for sure, but some of them date back to Hindu origins. And anything with that kind of hat has a Thai twist to it. That's certainly a Thai image. This is a, this, this golden Buddha is just that, a golden Buddha. And look at the roof on that adjacent Wat. I mean, now that's a roof. So this clip goes out to rock and roll Marge, who is an old rock and roll singer who had a impressive uh, career as a rock and roller. I'll be visiting her soon when I go to Brooklyn. But Marge is the historian and a tour guide at Greenwood Cemetery. So Marge, if you're listening, and I know you watch my videos, I don't know if you watch all of them, but I hope you're watching this one. These are spaces for cremated remains. Here you can see a few that have been filled with the, the dear departed. Unlike Greenwood, this one's outdoors. But of course, it never gets cold and snowy here. I think I might buy one of these little boxes at Greenwood, actually. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. What the hell, I'm only 72. I got a good uh, four or five years left. <laughs> well, putting to statistics, that's about right. So while we're on the uh, cemetery theme, here is uh, uh, the vestiges of an old loading dock that's on, uh, well, it's not really a canal because the water is moving quite rapidly. So it's part of the delta, although it's been marked, so it's a half delta uh, waterway, half canal, and it's on the uh, Wat, 
And what you would have delivered here in days gone past would be corpses. So yeah, this is the crematorium, Marge. It's uh, been modernized, they have windows on it. They probably have some kind of electric uh, gizmo furnace that I don't understand to, to get it really hot and more efficient than it was in days gone past. But this baby was built back in the days when they used to do this uh, chore with wood. What's that? Ah, yeah, and as you enter here, which way will you go? Will you be good? Will you be evil? Ha! Huh. They're at the gates of the crematorium. I guess they decide before they even roll your body into the oven. <laughs> Closing out from the Y inside the time machine, the Thai time machine in the suburban reaches of Bangkok by the Chang Arawan station. I'll put some links and stuff in the description if you want to find this place. And thanks for watching. And for all of the, the all of you around the world who are celebrating some kind of spring holiday, be it uh, Songkran here in, uh, here in Thailand, happy Songkran, happy Easter back in the States, the folks who celebrate Easter, and to all the other you know, rituals and holidays that get celebrated around the time of rebirth, springtime, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere. Must be confusing to live in Australia. You have Northern Hemisphere rituals and Southern Hemisphere weather, but yeah, I didn't make that roll. So thanks for watching. See you soon.